All right, fellas, we just got on this job about an hour ago. Let me show you what it looks like. The homeowner dug most of it out with the excavator yesterday. We had to put that trench in. You see, it's just a patio. It's going in right there. There he is. We gotta get some fill for this job. We got 53s and we got recycled concrete. They're pretty much the same thing. We just mix them up and then uh, it stretches out our 53s. We know this stuff packs good. That stuff packs good too though. So we mix it up and that stuff's really cheap. This stuff's 400 bucks for a dump truck load, but you can get that stuff cheap. So what we do is we just flip flop it, put one in, put one in, and it really stretches it out. It's not cheating the system, it's just being smart. A little windy down here. We're gonna have to Georgia buggy all this. I just wanted to show you guys a little video about a prep day, no music, just a little prep day. Capture a few things. I don't do a lot of prep videos, but this one's just to show you guys what we're doing today. Look, I gotta do some sort of spin around up here. All right, I don't wanna show dude's house. All right, I'll show you guys here in a minute. All right, he wants me to pull straight in. I put it in four below. As you can see, this is crazy. This truck ain't made for this pops. It's a F-150, not a F-250. We're about to find out. How you want me to pull? Back it in. All right, folks, we are betting this type. It's all got good fall coming out, so we're betting it first. My dad got stuck. Is that good? That worked like a charm. I thought the strap would break. Worked like a charm. You look good in that truck, Dad. Yeah, I bet. All right, stop for a second. So, we got a big, huge pile of stone, but we got a tractor to move it. What we're doing, me and Juan are bedding that pipe over there. Everything looks good with that. We'll spread all this out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like here in a minute. I'm winded, we pretty much got all the stone put in there. At least because it's gonna rain. What do you think, Dad? Yeah, so at least now if it rains, it'll rain on stone instead of dirt and turn everything to muck. Juan said he liked that tool better. That's the one they use in Guatemala, right? All right, <laughs> all right fellas, we pretty much got it all graded. Gotta throw a compactor on it, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll string it and form it. Four inches, so put it about right here. Go down a little bit. There you go. Right. Hopefully, you can cut straighter than me. I got a four inch strip. That's what I needed. Let's go right here. You can see Juan put some wooden stakes behind there. My dad's cleaning this out. He had to go down a little bit. And then I scabbed that board on and put another little board on right there. Then we'll come to this side. All right, fellas, it's starting to come together as you can see. We're getting ready to rip that board down to four. I'll show you what this side looks like. We're gonna scab it on right there and it'll go right over to there. Here's what this side looks like. It's not too shabby. Kind of kind of a weird looking patio, but you know what? That's what they want. Just 
got it on. Customer's gonna come out and double check it. It's actually looking pretty good. Getting ready to use this demo saw, guys, to cut this barria. Juan's filling it up with gas. Always make sure you got your safety glasses on, boys. Dad slapped that form on. Looks pretty damn good if you ask me. That's about it for the day, boys. We don't have any more fill. We'll tap those rebars in. Actually, we'll wait till we put the stone in, actually. But you don't want to leave them laying on concrete because they'll rust if it rains. So collect them up and then put them somewhere. That'll work, guys. We're gonna get everything cleaned up. You see it all right here. My dad's taking the tractor. It's been a nice, easy day, really. Beautiful weather out here, unbelievable. Let me tell you what my thoughts were for the day. It's a very productive day. Anytime you get to the job and the homeowner had already dug out the grass, I mean, anytime that happens, boy, you're already winning. But we'll uh, adjust that on the end, on the end for him. But you know why wouldn't I? Well, he did a lot of the work. We're supposed to do some more work for him too, so I want to make sure we do some good work. I'm sure he's just uh, he said penciled me in on the other job to rental. But yeah, I like it. He t I, I noticed he just tore the deck out, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna want it done. And it's 10 yards, so we want to make sure we do a good job on this. And one other thing, the three, it's just the three of us, you know, on this cruise. So what we usually do is we prep one day and we get it 100% ready and then we pour it. We'll probably get mud on this one that, uh, geez, I don't even know. We got to call SRM. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. You know, we just hit 90,000 subscribers and that's freaking unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to try to do something special at 100. You know, I don't care how the subscribers click on. You know, I don't care how the views are. We just hit a hundred million views. That is unfreaking believable. I, and I really owe it all to you guys. And I got some really, really good shorts coming. I'm telling you, and you guys are gonna love them. But anyways, I appreciate you guys riding with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys have no idea whether you watch my shorts or you watch my long form content. I became a TikToker last year and I got really good at short form content. And I knew I knew that there was going to be an opening on YouTube for shorts. And I was following this guy and he, he kept on saying, just keep on posting. It's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. And I kept on posting and I did basically exactly what he said, you know, and, and I got the inspiration from a guy named Bob Memory. If you know who that is, he does like sports, um, sports casting, but he makes fun of it just like I do, you know what I mean, little reaction videos. But um, it was all good, it was, it's fun, I appreciate it, man. It, it, it really, I got myself in a position so when the YouTube started pushing the shorts, I was in there and uh, I, I learned how to do it, you know. It's not just posting a funny clip about concrete, I try to really make it good for you guys. I don't just re repost, I don't just post and repost. I always put an edit in there. I shouldn't even say that, but anyways, I appreciate you guys riding with me. Remember, if you're pouring concrete like this, make sure you pour early in the morning and don't pour too much. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!